All right, fellow Mesh Adventures, today we're diving into the magical world of web slates. A web slate is basically a big interactive screen. Think of it as your own personal window to the wonders of the internet. You can use it to view dashboards, web pages, photos and videos, or play around with maps, diagrams, and data. So we are in our Mesh 201 world in Mesh. And in this video, I'll show you how to load a local HTML file into a web slate and make it non-shared so that only the person triggering an event experiences it. So let's make this happen in Unity. You have two options when choosing a web slate prefab. Web slate, which is a simple design with no extra components, and web slate framed, which has a stylized frame and extra features. Let's be fancy and choose a framed web slate. You can see here the web slate defaults to the Microsoft website, but we're going to change that to the Mesh homepage as a shameless plug. If your web slate looks dark blue, you're looking at its back and not its screen like we're doing here. That might seem obvious, but I've made that mistake before. So first thing we're gonna do is turn this around so we see that white screen and scale it to fit under the text box. Perfect, that looks great. Now let's get into our button script. When we select our load button game object, we see that it has a script machine component containing an embedded script named load HTML and a variable that contains our HTML file. Note that the second node in the script is named mesh interactable body. The fate of your event attendees depends on this. If you want only the person triggering an event to experience it, you use the node that says is selected locally, like we've done here. And if you want all of your attendees in the event to experience it, you select a node that set, simply says is selected, which you'll be doing in the next section. So now let's get our HTML page. As you can see, the script graph has been started for you, and we're going to fill in the blanks to enable the load button at this station. Let's drag the web slate framed object into the first field here to get that component. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a web slate load HTML HTML asset node and connect these two. And since we have the get variable here for the HTML asset, we're going to connect that to the data input of the load HTML content node. And just like that, our logic is complete. So let's test this out in the Mesh emulator. Great, so we are in our Mesh emulator. Our Microsoft Mesh homepage has loaded as promised. And when we click our load button, we see that the web slate has loaded and we can see our hello world HTML file. It's never been easier to say hello to your Mesh world. You can see why loading a local HTML file would be great for viewing and interacting in your Mesh environment. If you don't want to host HTML content or have secure offline files, you can add HTML on the spot and include it as part of the asset in your scene. You also have dynamic loading at runtime because you can make real-time changes using visual scripting. Thanks for entering the magical world of web slates. Till next time.